It is Saturday, the 21st of May, and this is Love Notes, daily devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Welcome. Our text today is from the 19th chapter of Luke. As Jesus journeys toward Jerusalem, he comes today in this reading to the city of Jericho. Now, if you know your Old Testament, you know that Jericho was the place where the trumpets of Joshua sounded, the walls fell, and the people of Israel began their conquest of the Promised Land when they took Jericho. Jericho is a place where walls fall down, changes happen, and promises are fulfilled. And so we might look for clues of what kind of walls are going to fall down in the story that follows. Luke tells this story. There was a man named Zacchaeus that lived in Jericho. He was the chief tax collector. That means he was in cahoots with Rome. He benefited from collecting taxes from the people, which, of course, everybody loves to pay, right? He was not well liked by the people because they saw him as a sinner. He not only took their money in taxation, but he kept a good share for himself and got rich off them. That's what they thought. Now, Zacchaeus, we're told in this story, is a man of short stature. Might be a little ironic joke here. He's not only short physically, but he's a little on the short end when it comes to moral and ethical considering considerations, perhaps. So when he hears that Jesus is coming, he's heard his reputation and he wants to see him. But he can't get over the crowd, so he crawls up into a sycamore tree where he can see him. Jesus sees Zacchaeus up in the tree, and he calls to him, Zacchaeus, come down, for I'm having lunch at your house today. Zacchaeus comes down, welcomes Jesus into his house, and outside, all of the people who weren't invited in, well, they're mumbling and grumbling to themselves, saying, doesn't Jesus know that this man is a chief tax collector, a sinner, a cheat? Zacchaeus responds when he hears all of the grumbling, and he says, Today, today, if I have stolen anything from the poor, I will pay back half. If I've defrauded anyone of anything, I will give them four times as much. And Jesus announces when Zacchaeus repents that today salvation has come to this house because he too is a son of Abraham. Luke adds, for the Son of Man came to seek out and save the lost. The interesting thing about this story is how quickly the people are to condemn and how quickly Jesus is willing to find the lost. Zacchaeus has perhaps gotten lost, wrapped up in making a living the best way he knows how, and making a pretty good one at that, and maybe not loving his neighbor in the process. Jesus reaches out to him as he sits up in that tree, and he claims him for the kingdom of God. It's yet another Lucan story about lost things being found. Lost coins, lost sheep, lost sons, now lost children of Abraham, restored to their rightful place. It would be good to remember that Jesus is always looking for us, mostly when we've crawled up in trees so that we can hide and still see, mostly when we've wandered away from what we know is right and true. Jesus looks for us, and Jesus welcomes us. Jesus does that when we're lost. And perhaps one of the honest things we need to do is to always remember our lostness before we start judging others. Let us pray. Holy and living God, you search us out when we've strayed away. When we are lost, you find us. Help us, Lord, to have solidarity with, solidarity with all who are lost. Help us to remember, Lord, that we too have been lost and that Jesus finds us. Help us with Zacchaeus to turn our lives to you and to rejoice at being found. We ask this in Jesus' name.
Amen.